Hope theory was developed by Rick Snyder at the University of Kansas. Professor Snyder was wondering, what do people think about all day long? And it turned out that we think uh, Hope theory was developed by Rick Snyder at the University of Kansas. Professor Snyder wondered, what do humans think about all day long? And it turned out, they think about goals a lot. People think about that they're going to have to go to work, that they're going to have to get all the things done on their to-do list. And if you break it down, the whole day is a consecutive pursuit of different goals. So the first thing for hopeful thinking that you need to have is a goal. And then Professor Snyder identified two components to successful goal pursuit. The first component is a pathway. You need to know how are you going to reach your goal. And the second component is agency or motivation. You have to actually use the pathway that you developed. Hopeful thinking becomes especially important when you have obstacles that show up. Let's say you want to drive to work and all of a sudden the usual road you drive down is closed because of construction. Then you need to figure out what's a different way to get to my goal. What's a different way to get to work? So you have to engage in developing different pathways to reach your goal. All right. Sometimes you can get over an obstacle, around an obstacle. Sometimes you, by exerting more agency, you can actually reach your, uh, reach your goal. So just by doing the same thing but trying harder, you might break through a barrier. But a lot of times, dealing with obstacles involves coming up with new and different pathways. Hope researchers will recommend to come up with alternative pathways before the obstacle occurs. So before an obstacle is there, people would start thinking about what might go wrong and come up with alternatives, a plan B, before the obstacle actually shows up. And not just a plan B, but also a plan C and maybe a plan D. So hopeful people have a positive expectation for the future, but they're also realists. They expect things could go wrong and they prepare for it. So those are two important components. People are positive about the future, but they're realistic as well, and they try to prepare for all eventualities. Hope has many benefits. Generally, hopeful people are healthier and also happier. Because think about it. It's hard to be hopeful and unhappy, and it's really hard to be unhappy and be hopeful. Hope has many benefits. First of all, if you're happy, it's hope has many benefits. First of all, it's hard to be happy if you have no hope. And then health. Hope has many benefits. First of all, it's hard to be happy when you don't have any hope. And a lot of studies show how higher hope is related with better health outcomes. And it also shows that a lot of performance indicators, such as academic achievement, 
work performance, creativity, or related to hope. The best thing about hope is that it can be learned. You can practice it and you can teach it to other people. So students, teachers, adults, everybody can learn hopeful thinking and it's never too late to start practicing hope in your daily lives.